Another important thing about climate that helps determine the ecosystems around the world is the greenhouse effect. Now, when you hear that, you think about global warming, you think, oh my gosh, that's a very bad thing. No, actually, the greenhouse effect is very important for the Earth. Now, it's called the greenhouse effect because when the sun hits a greenhouse, and that greenhouse is like where you grow plants, it's like usually like this glass thing, and you see a, a representation of that on the top right. The light that, hits in, that gets inside the greenhouse usually gets trapped there. So the radiation from the sun gets trapped there. So even though it's cold outside, inside the greenhouse it's actually kind of warm because the rays of the sun gets trapped inside and bounce back and forth. Now the same thing happens in the earth. A lot of the energy that hits the sun that, or hits the atmosphere actually gets dispersed back into space or absorbed by the upper atmosphere and so the, the earth doesn't got, get very warm. Thank God for the atmosphere. But some of the energy ends up actually hitting the floor as you see on the left side at the bottom of the picture. But as this energy gets dissipated back into space by conduction and, ref and reflection and all that stuff, some of that energy gets trapped by the atmosphere, by special gases called greenhouse gases. Now, the three most common types and most important types of greenhouse gases, you should write this down somewhere, are methane gas, very important gas, and this is natural gas. It's a byproduct of, it's fart, basically. It's a byproduct of metabolism. All the living things pretty much do this, decomposition, digestion, will make that happen. So cows put out a lot of this. In fact, there's a more methane gas coming from cows, and then there's carbon dioxide coming from cars. Crazy stuff. By the way, cows don't fart, they burp out, you know. They, they don't actually have gases out of their anus. Now, there's also carbon dioxide, another famous greenhouse gas. Carbon dioxide comes from things like fires, volcanic eruptions, and from combustion of fossil fuels, and from cell respiration. Everything that's alive puts out carbon dioxide. Now, so these are all natural things. This, this is part of the world. By the way, methane gas sometimes comes from volcanic eruptions as well. And you have water vapor. Now, water vapor, of course, comes naturally as well as part of the water cycle. Water evaporates and goes to the atmosphere. Water also comes from the transpiration from plants and, and animals. And water also comes from volcanic eruptions. So, this is part of the natural process of the Earth. Earth normally has these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And thank God for that, especially for water. Because what ends up happening is that these things will trap the, the heat of the sun. Uh, and then that means that during the night, when there's no sun, it's still kind of nice. If it wasn't for the greenhouse gases, during the night it will become frigid because there will be no sunlight. An astronaut, when he's in space and he's not in the sunlight, the temperature drops by hundreds of degrees because there's no greenhouse gases. But that's why they have to use the suit, not, not just because they have to breathe, but also because they have to protect themselves from the cold of space. But on Earth, it's not cold at night because... The atmosphere traps the heat during the night to, thanks to the greenhouse gases. They're like a blanket that warms us up during the night. The perfect example of this is think about Florida. A lot of water in the air. Very warm during the night because the majority of the radiation from the sun stays. Meanwhile, in a desert where there's barely any water, it gets really cold during the night because there's less greenhouse gases to trap the, the heat that's coming that hit the ground during the day. So that's why greenhouse gases are actually important. It keeps the world warm during a night. But what happens if the greenhouse gases were to increase? If there was too much of these greenhouse gases? If there was more cows burping? If there was more animals putting out methane gas? If there was methane seeping from old uh, fossil fuels deep under the ground? If we were burning things, fossil fuels creating carbon dioxide? If we, there are more people living, breathing, there's cars, if there's factories? If there's more water evaporating, what happens is that the blanket gets thicker. And when the blanket gets thicker, more heat gets trapped. But if more heat gets trapped, more water evaporates. And water is a greenhouse gas, which means more heat for the planet. And that becomes a vicious cycle, and the world gets warmer and warmer. By the way, a lot of methane is trapped underneath ice in the, in the permafrost of the polar regions. As this is literally a uh, ground that's frozen, and there's a lot of dead stuff under that because it, not, it wasn't always frozen. There was life there at one point when the continents were somewhere else, or it wasn't so cold back in the day. So after it got cold, ice covered that life, and by now it's kind of like decomposed and full of natural gas, which is a byproduct of decomposition. But if the ice melts, that natural gas just escapes. This is also true about sediments in the bottom of oceans. There's a lot of trapped methane. But the hotter the world gets, the more ice melts, 
the more methane escapes. But methane is a greenhouse gas, so it makes the world even hotter. So you see, global warming is a problem because the warmer it gets, the more greenhouse gases get into the air, and the warmer it gets. And that is what is called a runaway greenhouse effect. And that's what happened to Venus. It got so hot that it could not support life because of the greenhouse effect was out of whack. Very important then to control the greenhouse effect and to make sure that it's not too much. Now the Earth does go through normal processes of heating and cooling as these gases go up and down. But human beings are constantly pumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. We also cause extra uh, wildfires. And the, a majority of wildfires happen because of humans. They're natural events, but we increase them a lot. When we put all of that together, humans are increasing the amount of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, especially also because our cattle are putting out methane gas and all those kinds of things. Factories are putting th uh, greenhouse gases. When you all is said and done, there's so much more greenhouse gases now that this could cause the world to warm up a lot. And we'll talk more about that in a future video.